So Jeff, I've sent all my letters out to everybody on the list. Um, so someone like, and I know a lot of other people have too. When you said uh, on our show last week to, you know, let Wendy know, Wendy and Bill know that, that you've done this. We got a lot of responses yep. from that, um, from people that had done that. And, and of course we did it as well. What would you have us do next? I mean, mine were letters. Should we call them? Should we use the same letters again? T tell us what we should do. What you did once, go do it again. Okay. Go do it again. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking, um, um, Carrie Porter just emailed me. She's out of, she's out of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, savvy investor. She emailed me and she says, I've been doing it every day. And I go like, you're awesome. You're a rock awesome. star. She That's is kind of, She's not just she's not just limiting herself to the important eight. She's going after everybody on that list on Hire's website of handsoffmyira.com. Yeah, that's what I did. And she's, do and she's doing it to every one of them every day. That's now, awesome. folks, here's the power of technology. You can have those letters saved on your computer. All you got to do is change the date. That's right. All you got to do is just reformat it a little bit differently and send it again. That's right. Okay. And just use a different email address if you've got it, but just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it because that's what's going to matter. Um, we have a mutual friend, Mike, and his daughter worked on Capitol Hill and I lobbied his daughter, oh, probably a half a dozen times um, when she was working for a congressman's office. Now she's somewhere else. And Mike just gave me some more information, and I shared it in an email with my list today. And if you didn't get it, go to watsoninvested.com to sign up for it. And it's explaining the contact methods that matter the most from an inside the congressional office perspective. When you can have a conversation with someone who has to sit there and pay attention to what the constituents think, you learn how to communicate with them in the way that makes the most impact. The way that makes the most impact is email. If you can't find their email address, there's a link through National RIA that lets you do that real easy peasy. Uh, there's also a link on John's website that lets you do it real easy peasy. Um, then you can also go to that particular representative's website and there's a link on there. And if you know your zip code and you're going to need your plus four digits because of the way the districts are gerrymandered around sometimes, you're going to need your zip code, your extra four digits. That's no big deal. And you can contact them that way. The next way, that's the site for going and using voter voice. Very powerful, powerful tool. Awesome. That's, that's, then the next thing to do is if you're going to send a letter, fax it to the district office and fax it to the D.C. office and mail it to the district office. Okay. Mail it to the district office because the district office does not have an offsite third party processor like they put on Capitol Hill after 9 11. And so we can then get the letters on a timely basis to the district office, and then they have to bundle them up and ship them via overnight express mail to the district, to the DC office. Hmm. And so we can get our voices heard multiple ways. That's awesome. So the, the people that are getting most of this, I'm assuming, are the staffers. Yes. Uh, and, and then they're turning around and reporting it to the uh, elected official. They're going and they're either going straight to the legislative director or the chief of staff and or their boss, the congressman or congresswoman, and saying, this is what we're hearing. This is what is a hot button issue. Oh, by the way, if you go home this weekend, since we're going to go out of session next week, be prepared. You might have somebody talk to you about this. <laughs> right.